Kill Blue? Dear Mr. Basement, Blue died, now I cry every day. Mother says you are a wicked man. Go back to the basement, Dingus. You stop. Screw you. You are a meanie! I am a meanie! <laughs> yeah, and so I won't go back to the basement. I, I really don't like what it makes me do. Well, I don't know if you can blame the basement for your action. Nope, nope. not another word. I, I can't do the co-host bit anymore. Well, we'll need to find someone else then. I've got an idea. What's that? There's actually an old all-nighter co-host who I heard is coming back to campus this spring. He got sent home during the pandemic. A guy from class of 20. Jackson would be perfect. It's so sad his time was cut short by COVID. Ah, no. Class of 1920. He got sent home for bringing the Spanish influenza to Princeton. Yikes. Okay, well, what's his name? Buster Garbuncle? and whippersnappers. This here's Buster Garbuncle coming at you live from the All Nighter News Saloon. Lots of happenings these days, so uh, we're here to help you sort the wheat from the chaff. All right. Well, first things fiddle. Some of you fellas might have noticed old Buster's been away from Lady Orange for a year or two, but the good thing's I got a pint of the Rip Van Winkle in me. Keeping me in the saddle so as I can get back to my book reading and my wisecracking. Of course, the, the reason old Buster got the boot first time around is for spreading the old uh, polio. Got, got me hornswoggled for the semester by Marshall Higgins and the pencil posse. Oh, what with their clean hands and dainty sinuses. Ha! But those muckety mucks are twirling in the dirt now, seeing as to how Buster's still kicking and caterwauling same as ever. All right, enough jibber jabber. Let's hit the washboard. My lady in the village tells me snake oil eyes groovers peddling something called social contracts, wanting you and me to sign away our firstborn so as he can have them later. So here's the social contract. It just says that you will share responsibility for keeping everyone safe on campus. Um, you know, before coming, you should have taken a flu shot first. Oh, firstborn? No. Hogwash! Now to filch this bag of nails, I'm joined by my trusty muckraker, Jonathan Song. Jonathan, moon's on her way, so let's get a wiggle on. Great to be here, Buster. Uh, now, uh, tell us, uh, prim and proper, why is Grubby Hands Eyes Gruber locking us up and pilfering our spoils? Look, the administration is forcing us to sign these social contracts to help prevent the spread of COVID, but the rules they're making place unrealistic expectations on returning uh, students. Only rule I'll follow is mob rule. Yes, well, for example, students are expected to wear facial coverings while engaging in sexual activity, even if they're in a long-term monogamous relationship. <laughs> Oh, so you're telling me old Buster needs to wear a bandana to ride the beast with two backs? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> and how's Eyes Grabber expect us to get those firstborns, uh, what to pay his baby tariff with, uh, if we can't dangle tongues with the lassies? Uh, 
Well, Buster, I'm not sure if firstborn children are really part of the- Horseradish! Now you may be ready to fork over your offspring to the first tenderfoot who comes and knocking. Oh, but old Buster's not ready to throw up the sponge. So you listen close eyes, Grubby. Social contractor, no, I ain't gonna give away my little Billy. Let's so get my promissory notes up front in the core in the hoil. And if you're out of buckaroos, then the going rates two when the legs are one jug of Moe's all-purpose turpentine. All right, enough said. Thanks for having me, Buster. Good riddance. Now get out of Buster's cabin, you loiterers.